guys, I'm back again after quite some time. Yeah, I couldn't make a video because I had some issues. Right now, I'm actually planning to give the bike away, but I really don't know. My heart doesn't really uh, like uh, let me, you know, feel like giving this bike away. Like uh, it's been really close to me. It's been just a year since I've owned this, and today I'm gonna give a one-year ownership review of this. Uh, let me be pretty honest with you. This is a magnificent bike, but uh, it has its own shortcomings as well. So, in detail of like uh, how much it cost to own it, how much it cost me to service it, and uh, what all uh, things I had to get done every single time I took it out on the streets, and is it actually worth owning this, or should I go for an alternate or anything like that? So I'm going to cover most of the points about the bike which I really like and which I really don't like in this single video. Coming to the frame of the bike, it's a really good size. Uh, the tire is pretty chunky as well. It's got this beautiful kind of rear tail out here section. The side mounted exhaust also sounds really cool and the chassis is very flickable. But the only thing is the weight in the front uh, makes it feel more agile and stable out in even the road. I've got these... Uh, Benelli 600 i style frame sliders installed have this look makes it feel like a splendor but yeah it's a really good uh, uh, thing to protect the vehicle against scratches and stuff yeah there are some minor scratches out here because of regular parking and stuff and then here's the beautiful seat on which every bum just get squished on the mirrors are okay i would say they do not uh, provide enough coverage uh, to look back the rear lights are very good, all LEDs, even the indicators are LEDs. I've got this chunky little uh, uh, one there for the license plate and same out here for the front one as well. There are heat sinks all over the place and there are a few things for meant for the BS5 or BS4, whatever it was released that time, which caused a significant uh, weight increase, which actually made it a bit more stable on under high speeds. But, they, but the only thing which I feel missing is the real high-end punch which was uh, there on the older gen 390 this is something which i love the magnificent magnificent headlight cluster man damn i just can't keep on looking at it the whole day uh, these are ahos they always stay on and this i got it painted uh, black to resemble the so to resemble the super duke 390 wp big piston forks these are awesome but i would say they are on the stiffer side i wouldn't uh, really like uh, commuting on them to be honest they are really meant to be ridden hard i've got flashes on even for the tail light and as well the indicators the rear swing arm is pretty good the same as on the older gen 390 and it's uh, really really flickable and nimble here's uh, the tank tank is completely made of metal it's 13 0.5 liters capacity which is good which is pretty good but the shortcoming is the mileage on it and the reliability of the engine which i'll come come back later to the switch gear quality is really good bajaj pulsar kind kind of flimsy but yeah it works i wish these buttons were could have been a bit better quality it gets uh, past lights and even the on off ones and there's also different ways which where we can control the uh, settings of this and here's the horn of a duke 390 if you wanted to know yeah, that's how it sounds and uh, coming to the brakes that's a 320 mm uh, disc up front it's a huge improvement over the over the older one and this is pretty pretty hard biting and back gets 240 mm discs disc <laughs> okay the single one i have installed the uh, roll on gold and uh, black uh, sprocket and chain set the new ones they are pretty pretty good i had to change the earlier ones and here's the shoe sock which has already got worn out the engine packs a lot of punch i'll tell you that it's much more refined but it kind of gets you like uh, carried away <laughs> yeah it's a pretty strong and punchy motor coming to the display this is the beautiful and gorgeous tft display which we all dream of after seeing the first triumph 765 oh my god that thing was insane and ever since i saw it i was like damn i wish something like that was there on a vehicle and it happened to me on a low segment bike that's a duke 390 and it just makes everyone go bonkers including me every single light, single time i see it there's something there's a ambient light sensor here i hold this for some time and the screen changes to dark which is pretty pretty awesome like automatically changes during night time there's a lot of settings and i can even configure these out here there's info 
and uh, stuff like that where I can change the trip meter I just hold it for two seconds and it resets I'll just show you that yeah things like that and it has warnings and about motorcycle I can put in the super motor mode or just switch off the ABS totally best part is KTM my ride which is I can control my music or I can pair it and uh, you know pick up calls or decline them preferences I can change where the shift light I want it to be where it flashes up at which rpm and shift light I want it on what it does it basically make turns the whole thing uh, red and the DRL I can uh, also turn and turn off the DRL but one thing which is funny is if I turn the DRL off this is what you get wait a second I'll just show it to you that's how the engine starts one touch start the upper one turns on when I put the DRL off and when I put the DRL on the middle one turns on I mean like it literally makes no sense if if they really wanted it to be on or off it all is literally the same thing units can be in distance in kilometers or miles celsius fahrenheit easy change that's a pretty awesome feature to be honest here's my exhaust something which i wanted to show you guys i have taken the baffle out and if you wanted to know how it sounds like it sounds like this that's how the exhaust sounds like it's a uh, pretty pretty basic I tell you a much needed upgrade over the stock exhaust and uh, it's beautiful I tell you let's go on a short ride and let's see how it feels now this is a long term review so it's been 18,000 kilometers and uh, I'll tell you the service intervals are pretty decent but it's slightly on the expensive side for a, a 390 cc engine the oil uh, they recommend is the Motul 300V or the 41 which is 20W51 uh, they cost about 1k per liter it depends from person from dealer to dealer so that's like this thing uh, houses a capacity of almost 1.5 liters so you have no other option but to buy the two bottles and uh, typical bottle of coolant will cost you about 350 the one where your major expense will actually come is the chain sprockets and uh, getting the brake pads replaced those are kind of expensive and the fuel consumption which i'm getting is really bad kind of because i kind of ride hard so i get uh, like uh, to be honest i have ex got 30 in uh, while i was going in the highway uh, city rides i don't get usually more than 19 20 etc like that as you can see visibility is not really that great and I have to fiddle around and move my head around a lot if I have to uh, check anything out it's quite chilly in Bangalore today not bad after a long time we have rains now I'm going to meet my friend Mahi Mahesh he stays in Nara Nagar by the way I forgot to mention while I was showing you the bike uh, I have new tires that's the Apollo Alpha H1 those are pretty pretty sticky just like the Metzelers but these are W rated ones similar to the old U390 ones and man these have so much grip when properly warmed up man this is super sticky I tell you seriously I had the Metzelers before and uh, to be honest the Metzelers are pretty good and they are pretty lightweight as well compared to the oh, like uh, Alpha H1 which I have now they claim this to be more durable than the old one that is the metalers from the stock ones but yeah i do find them really really sticky yeah of course it does slide around uh, when there is gravel and stuff but you really cannot help because there's no friction like nothing much to keep yourself in check the abs is kind of flimsy but it uh, works most of the time it definitely works when you're in low speeds nope it doesn't obviously it uh, just takes a while it locks up a bit and then comes back that's the case with uh, almost every ABS I feel uh, I have never faced that when I rode the uh, 2014 Boza which I rented from Quick, uh, Quick Bike I wish I had a GoPro that time yeah so in high speeds yes the ABS does work but I find it a bit too intrusive and I cannot start feeling a loss of confidence when I am braking really hard at high speeds uh, the top speed on this I have ever reached today is 163 down in a uh, nice road a uh, lot of wind blasts when you are riding I wish there was a uh, screen or something but the screens which I have seen on uh, most of the people who, who own the Duke 290 I never like any of them I personally love the Z800 uh, with the 
RNG tail tidy and the uh, pui green screen which is just so beautiful man wow so my views about the duke 90 is um it's a pocket rocket that i can tell you if you are uh, uh, a, a person who had some experience with riding bikes for quite some time and you want to upgrade to a super bike in the near future but you want something to be there in between so that you you don't just freak out when you uh, put your legs across a a uh, big bad in line 4 or a v4 but then uh, you want something to build up your confidence upon and learn to be a much more mature rider at the same time learn to be a proper hooligan and know how to tame your bike this is exactly the right thing which you're looking for exactly the thing which i would expect anyone to think of when they think of a bike which comes just before you buy a super bike similarly i'm planning to like uh, Sell this off and probably aim for a, a Daytona 675R, which has always been my favorite. My dream bike is a ZX10R, but that will take quite some time, I'm sure. Let's see. Uh, the one thing which I like about this is the torque. Uh, if I ride this next to a R3, I love the top end or the mid end on mid range on the R3, but not the pickability. Pickability on the uh, KTM is just wow, man. I mean, like wow. It's just super flexible. It just moves, man. It just moves. I've had a like few tank slappers uh, quite some time, but yeah, handling and all is really good. Suspension is something which I really want to talk about. It's kind of on the harder side. You can feel every bump on the road. But then comes the beautiful engine. Yes, there is lot of vibes everywhere. If you compare it to a Parlette twin engine or anything else. Once you go past 4,000 RPM, it just dies down and then builds up again later in the higher RPMs. Yeah, that is typical of a high compression, high capacity uh, single cylinder engine. Like a single cylinder engine, even in a 1,000 cc super bike, divide by 4, 250 cc each, and uh, this is a freaking 375 cc monster. Has to do a lot of work. Um, being a single cylinder, keep on revving it high. It feels like a stress member of the family. Yes. so it, it it takes quite some time to be used to gears are very good but not as smooth as the japanese counterparts heck even the apache rr310 has better uh, gear shifts i i kind of keep on hitting the uh, new, like neutral all the time and i'm changing from first to second and sometimes it's difficult to go to the neutral and just needs a very slow and slight touch and the slight touch that's it so that's one way i could call it Like you would learn how to tame a bike in the way it has to be ridden. Yeah, sound is pretty dope. I really love the way it handles and drives. Yeah, I'm also planning to get gear soon. I don't have a good jacket. I have these gloves which I haven't used in my previous rides and stuff. Ah, it is very very slim and आराम से I can uh, keep my legs down. यार बहुत ईजी है चलाने को एकदम से मैंने दिक्कत ही नहीं होता आप जितना भी दूर चलाओ मैंने जो होता है ना एक 200-300 किलोमीटर के बाद थोड़ा पेट में थोड़ा दर्द करने लगता है वैसा थोड़ा बहुत फीलिंग है बट फिर भी जो दमदार परफॉर्मेंस देता है ना वो सबको मैंने पीछे छोड़ देता है एकदम अगर आपको ऐसा टाइप का ब्लॉग अच्छा लगे तो बोल दीजिए ज़रूर कमेंट सेक्शन पर मैं जितना चाहे उतना मैं इम्प्रूव करूँगा मैं थोड़ा बहुत ट्राई कर रहा हूँ डिफरेंट बनने के लिए हज़ारों ब्लॉग के चैनल से वहाँ पे कुछ तो नया करना है भाई मैं तो आगे कैसे बढ़े कुछ तो ओरिजिनल और क्रिएटिव कंटेंट करना है और आई नीड टू गो टूवर्ड्स गोपाल एंड मार्केट सो आई जस्ट टेक लेफ्ट एंड आई बाइक दैट डी बी किला रिमोट मेक इट फील सो मच मोर लाइवली है थोड़ा बहुत वापस जो कैरेक्टर खो दिया है इसने फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस जनरेशन वापस आ जाता है थोड़ा इट्स माई जान मैं वो तो बोल सकता हूँ इसका नाम मैंने रखा था रेवन रेवन क्योंकि जस्ट लाइक गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स में थ्री आइड रेवन है विच इज़ लाइक अ सुपीरियर फोर्स विच नोज वॉट इज वॉट इट इज़ डूइंग जस्ट लाइक दैट आई नेम दिस एज रेवन इट्स अ बीस मैन आई जस्ट लव दिस मेरे लिए यही सुपर बाइक है ऑलवेज ड्रीम रहा था मेरा पहले मेरे पास एक आर वन फाइव था 
वो मेरा एक एक्सीडेंट हुआ था उसके बाद मैं उसको यूज़ नहीं कर पाया तो उसको मुझे बेचना पड़ा इसमें एडजस्टेबल यूएस है फाइव है एडजस्टेबल यूएस आई रियली लव दैम रीच एडजस्टेबल है दोनों साइड से क्लच एंड ब्रेक्स का दोनों बहुत ही यूजफुल है थोड़ा बहुत प्ले भी अच्छा थोड़ा बहुत थोड़ा बहुत है तो उसका इफेक्ट आपको जो ज़्यादा अच्छे से पता चलता है आपको ऑन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ट्रांजेक्शन है वो बहुत अच्छा है आई विश देर वॉज स्टिल केबल कंट्रोल प्रॉटर मैन आई लाइक बींग ओल्ड स्कूल जो राइडर से कनेक्टेड फील होता है ना इंजन का और टोटल का वो थोड़ा बहुत मिस कर पाऊँ तो भी ऑन है तो राइड बाई बाई टोटल इज अमेज ए बी एस अच्छा है बीच बीच में ई सी यू पे भी और फोर सब आता है क्या वो ठीक है लाइक वो प्रॉब्लम है विद कंसोल एंड स्टफ जस्ट टर्न ऑफ एंड टर्न ऑफ टर्न ऑन द इंजन एंड दट गोस अवे रेन पैकेज एक प्रोवाइड किया था टोटल फोर या फाइव सर्विसेज मिलता है तीन फ्री सर्विसेज देते हैं जिसमें भी हमको जस्ट वॉट जस्ट टू बेसिक होता है लाइक लेबर सिर्फ उसको काटते हैं बाकी तो कंज्यूमर उसका तो चार्ज करेंगे ही सो अबाउट वन फिफ्टी या वन सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड बस सेव करेंगे आप इन द फ्री सर्विस एक एक सर्विस का सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स का इंटरवल है सो आपको अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड टू फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज़ तक हो जाता है आपका एक सर्विस क्योंकि ऑयल चेंज करने के बाद आपको ऑयल फिटर चेंज करना है उसका एक पूरा किट आता है ऑयल चेंज किट करके गैस जब तक मैं अपने दोस्त के लिए वेट करता रहूँगा तब तक मैं आपको एक छोटा सा वीडियो दिखाता हूँ लाइक अबाउट अ बिट मोर अबाउट द बाइक जो फ्लाशर्स पे बोला था वो यहाँ मैं मैं डाल दूँगा इस वीडियो में लाइक और उसका लिंक डाल दूँगा डिस्क्रिप्शन में आ, ये मैंने एक छोटा सा मोबाइल होल्डर डाल के रखा है तीन सौ का बस लगाया था काफ़ी अच्छा है बट चार्जर का मैंने नहीं किया क्योंकि वो बैटरी वैटरी सब उसमें डालना पड़ता है क्या पता बारिश वारिश में कुछ शॉर्ट वॉट हो जाए नहीं चाहिए भाई वो सब मेरे को फिर यहाँ पे इसका करंट का कैपेसिटी यहाँ पे दिखाता है मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम वो ब्लैक कलर का लाइन का अंदर रहना है नहीं तो यहाँ से ओवरफ्लो होके इसका ऊपर सब गिरने लगता है जो बहुत गंदा दिखता है आ, उसको मैं सब ठीक कराया उसको ठीक से अंदर में बुरी पोजिशन कराया फिर यहाँ में उसका फिलर कैप है दीज वेर द अपोलो एल्फा हेच वन टायर सुच आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट डर्टी है बिकॉज बारिश वारिश का मौसम है यार रेगुलरली इसको फोम वॉश कराता हूँ मंथली वंस एंड मैं इस पर सिर्फ मोटल का चेन लूब एंड चेन क्लीन यूज़ कर रहा हूँ फिलहाल काफ़ी अच्छा है यूजली कैरोसिन बेस्ट बोलते हैं कैरोसिन भी मैं यूज़ करता हूँ एक एक बार नॉट रियली एक्सेसिबल फॉर मी तो मैं मुझे जो चेन क्लीनर है वो मुझे काफ़ी आसानी से मुझे मिल जाता है तो उसको मैं यूज़ कर लेता हूँ माई बेस्टी माही मरती ऑफिस क्रेजी इट्स दिन आयत मच्छा मीट मी ओके कैमरा बैक सो हेज मै बड़ी रईडिंग इसलिए उसको दे दिया चलाने के लिए एंड आई एम राइडिंग इज एक्सेस भाई दमदार दिखता है यार गाड़ी तो एकदम सही में एकदम पूरा प्रेजेंस देखो यार गाड़ी का ओके आई एम पार्शियल टूवर्ड्स इट पता है मेरा गाड़ी है फिर भी यार बहुत अच्छा गाड़ी है वो भी है आई एम सेटल बट जो भी होता है अच्छे के लिए होता है कुछ पाने के लिए कुछ खोना पड़ता है आई विश में ऐसे नहीं खोता बट विल सी ब्रेक्स बहुत अच्छा है तगड़ा है एक्सेस में सही से इसने सर्विस कराया बंदे ने आते आते दिनों में मैं बहुत सारे रिव्यूज़ बनाऊंगा और कुछ पानी चीज़ें भी डालूंगा ज़रूर आई एम बैक आफ्टर मीटिंग माय बडी इट्स इट वाज क्वाइट सम टाइम ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन टू थ्री मंथ्स सिंस आई मेट हिम फेल्ट रियली गुड टॉकिंग टू हिम एंड ऑल वी शेयर सम एक्सपीरियंस फॉर्स बहुत दिन हो गए थे यार बात करके अच्छा लगा यार